Alright, this is uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance. This is my uh, main team from last season. I, uh, I used to run Cyclops and Juggernaut, but uh, I was beat a lot by people who had really OP abilities. The reason I bring Steve Rogers Captain America is because he is depowered, neutralized, and flanked, and that's just really good. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of issues with, with enemies that have really OP abilities, and uh, Cyclops just can't really cut it against those kind of people. Um, I bring Mystic Shroud because I feel like uh, it kind of gives you the first turn automatically to you because so many people like Sabretooth, etc. rely completely on debuffs and are completely useless without it. Um, at the moment I'm a little bit between the Sonic Knife or just the Marksman Spotter or something else along those lines. But for now I'm just going to stick with the Sonic Knife. I just got it this season. I don't know how well it's going to do. Uh, but I'm going to roll with that. Uh, I already did one win. So it's just four. Uh, I'm already gold. Uh, one thing about uh, sometimes you'll already be a higher UO. You just won't have the trophy because you don't have enough wins. This is actually a pretty solid team I'm against right now. Um, I have no idea what he has because he has no buffs whatsoever. So I'm just going to focus on uh, on killing somebody. I'm, I usually go for War Machine first in this situation, especially because the Shield Breaker uh, does more damage if he gets like, a Shield Charger, which he almost always gets. Wow, I don't know where that psychic amplifier came from, but it's like everybody has it. Oh my goodness. He's scary. A lot of damage going out right here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with uh, Deep Power right now on the War Machine. But I think it's probably a waste of time. Die before he gets his turn. Yeah, see, that would have just deleted all of Juggernaut's buffs. Oh yeah, I need to show, turn off fast forward so I can actually see what's going on. I'm gonna remove all their uh, all their counter and nonsense. That's right, now I remember what I usually have as my last item. I usually have a um, Warbound Axe. I'm gonna go for the Agent just because I know what Cyclops can do, and none of it involves killing everyone on my team, but I don't know what the Agent can do, so. Yeah, I, pr I probably should have, now that I think about it, I should have depowered him. Crusher on Juggernaut instead of uh, the Unstoppable movie has because even though the Unstoppable one can't miss, the the Mountain Crusher actually does more damage. All right, that was the first one. That was actually uh, pretty quick. That's one of the things I like about this team. Uh, it's really fast. Juggernaut basically just one-shots people all the time. He does so much damage. That's what I love about Juggernaut. I kind of wish the Captain America didn't do rain for the time, though. It's like... so many better stances he could be in. Countering melee or countering buffs. Alright. I think I'm gonna go for the agent again because... I don't know what he can do. See, look at the damage, so high. And he can't even do anything about it because of Mystic Shroud. Hmm. I'm not sure I can kill him or not. 
Uh, I'm gonna take a risk and do scroll angle up, scroll baloney, because uh, I don't uh, I don't like quicksilver's quicknesses, and I don't like yeah, I can't kill them. And I don't like their counters and their agile nonsense. Be dodging me all day. I think, because he doesn't have any quicknesses, I can do a, uh, I can do an AoE attack here. So, which one should I go for? I think this one is just exhausted. And they don't have any double, well, I don't know what, what happens if he gets exhausted, actually, so I'm gonna just see. I think nothing happens. But, recently I've seen some glitches where, like, Dr. Doom, he would get exhausted and all of a sudden he wouldn't get two turns anymore. did the wide open one. They're both pretty strong. I'm not even sure which one to go for. I'm gonna go for him. Oh, frickin' dodges. This is bad. That's pretty scary, man, if you leave him alive too long. Nope, didn't remove quickness. There we go, that's Juggernaut for you. And that's how you win with Juggernaut, you just boop 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 all over, the, all over town. Um, I did get Juggernaut from a lockbox. So if you don't have him, you can't really get him. But there are a lot of other uh, heroes out there who do similar to what Juggernaut does. I just like Juggernaut. I'm a big fan. I've always liked Juggernaut from the uh, comics and everything. War X23 is actually a really strong uh, hero. Magic, I've never really seen her do anything amazing. The only thing is she can like put two or three debuffs on her guys is really annoying. The thing I hate about war is like if you leave her alone, she ends up hitting everyone on your team. And if you don't leave her alone, she can end up like never ever dying and you can like keep hitting her over and over and she'll just be like, nope, didn't die, nope, didn't die. So annoying. I kind of want to go for magic, you know, bruiser bonus and everything. Um, but I just don't think she's a big threat right now. Yeah, see, look at that damage. She's not, she's not killing anybody if I leave her alone. She does survive. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna go for the agent again. Yeah, this is turning out to be some pretty easy fights. This is because this is my top team. Uh, at this elo, there's not a lot that can compete against it. I mean, that's how I got it higher you in the first place. Pretty much just destroys everything. That's the thing is you have all these people who are all worried about boss and debuffs. You, know? you have like uh, beast and everything and a lot of the time you can just win by just having a damage team. Just go in, do massive damage, and just win. Plus the best thing about damage teams is it doesn't take very long. You're just you just fly through it. All right, last fight. Oh, you know, I was just talking about Beast. I've never fought against Anti Venom with this team before, so I'm not sure how that will go. Um. I'm just gonna go for Beast. He doesn't have Protect, so... That's a, this is another reason I like to bring uh, Captain America. Because if I depower Beast, all of a sudden he's like one of the most useless heroes to ever exist. Oh, the agent's got that ice thing. It's really annoying. It does a lot of damage. Oops, I don't want that. I want this. Yeah. I 
hate missing with it. Uh, the power actually only lasts like one turn, so I still have to focus them down. One of the reasons I like to focus bees down is because, you know, if, if see, a lot of people like to go crazy debuffs with bees, like like this guy, he's a million debuffs. Um, he's gonna neutralize me. Yep. Oh boy. Impaired, no crits, depowered. Phew. So much nastiness. And I can't scroll angle of it until Beast is dead. Oh wow, that did no damage at all. Oh well, I'm just gonna keep hitting. Freaking anti venom plus apocalypse beast. See, the thing is, at this point, I'm kind of losing. Even though I'm not. Because with a damage team, it's really important that you blow people up right away, or else they just shut you down. You know? And if you get shut down, all of a sudden you're not doing any damage, and all of a sudden you're just, yeah, that kind of crap's gonna happen. That's my damage. And then I just want to cry when I see, like, no damage come out from my characters. It's like, why? That's not the best. Oh wow, I just noticed this PvP bonus too. Is ridiculous. So I'm gonna be pretty lucky if I win this game. Oh my goodness. Wow. That bleeding. Yeah, I think it's the end for for my team. I couldn't even kill Beast. Yeah, like I said, when you can't if you don't kill people right at the start, that's it. Like you've pretty much lost. But, yeah, it's really not the team, I think, in this case, because I don't think there's any team I could have possibly designed that could have won this fight. I mean, as we're seeing here, you know, he's getting tons of crits. Oh, wow. I never even realized that. His Call of the Wild isn't going away, because I depowered him. <laughs> so he's just doing more and more and more damage. Oh, that's silly. Yeah, and killing him at this point isn't even very useful to me because I my scroll of angle is already dead. See, so yeah, this is just over. Oh, and he had that the whole time too, and he never even used it. Yeah, I don't think there was any team in the world I could have won that fight with just because um, he had twenty-seven thousand health, which is seven thousand more health than me. This is a really strong team. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to win. If I can land this attack on the agent, I should win it. Theoretically, but I don't know. Rogue and Taskmaster. There's a lot of luck involved there. Like, the amount of counters they can get is just is ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna go for the hope. He doesn't get a free turn. Ah, oh, you got it. Oh, he didn't even use the bruiser thing. That's weird. Oh, that's right. Even when he's depowered, he still does that freaking crap. But at least he can't do the uh, the battle orders. That doesn't even make sense. He, can, he still even applies that frickin' pinpoint target even though he's the power. This game's so glitchy. Frickin' miss! You see that? Him being weakened and everything isn't really like the end of the world. Yes, some counters. Alright. I don't want to miss. Alright. I gotta figure out something that can counter Taskmaster, really. Oh, great. I already have one of these, actually. Well, that's it for these fights.